Oh, he's really just going. Both in here, both in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm jump, I'm jump, I'm jump, I'm jump, I'm jump. I'm jump. I'm jump. Ah, 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 ah. What's up here? Keep them. on the right knocked them all right what's going on guys it's me mo and a lot of you guys have always been requesting in my recent videos to do a video on my settings so we're going to go over my button layout my sensitivity my aim assist everything we're going to go over completely everything uh, in the controller settings menu so starting off with battle royale button layout here we go i play on tactical controls now what this is, is this is basically going to swap your melee button and your crouch button. So I slide with my right stick and I melee with my circle button. This is going to make it so I can slide cancel, drop shot, just slide in general, prone to cover, a lot more smooth. So I don't have to take my hand or my thumb rather off the right hand stick and press that circle button. Uh, to lie down so stick uh, layout just default you're, that's what you're gonna find with a lot of my settings that I just kind of leave them to either standard or default to be honest I don't really change them too much invert look same thing uh, invert vertical look disabled that's just standard but obviously this is preference Dead zone max is at the 0.7. If I go any lower than one point or than 0.7, I start to get stick drift. Uh, there's no point copying uh, this setting because it's going to be different um, for everybody's controller. Uh, if you can if you can lower it to maybe 0.4, 0.5, go ahead. But if I were to do that personally with my controller, I would start to get stick drift, and my gun uh, would automatically aim up by itself. So. Just play around with it, and you guys can figure that out yourself. Moving on to sensitivity, my horizontal stick sensitivity, as well as my vertical stick sensitivity, are both at 3.3. Three. Uh, if you ever look at my gameplay and you notice that um, it looks like my guns have quote-unquote no recoil, uh, that is because I am able to have more control over my aim, because I play on a much lower sensitivity than most guys. Like I said, I'm not telling you guys to swap your sensitivities uh, or swap your settings. I'm just showing you guys what I use uh, to laser people. And, you know, everyone always says, yo, you beamed that guy. Yo, you're killing people so easy. Yo, what are your settings? Here it is. Three sensitivity for both. Uh, ADS sensitivity multiplayer. I have this at 1.0. Just standard. Didn't, didn't change any of it. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, aim response curve, dynamic uh, is like a aim acceleration. I, I, me personally, it messes with my muscle memory, and I'm just personally not a fan. Uh, vibration disabled. You can enable this if you want. It, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Go ahead. Aim assist. I t keep this. You know, just standard. Doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, I think this is the best one. Precision and focusing. Yeah, they're probably stronger versions of aim assist, but I just like standard. It feels, it feels good to me. It feels like every other COD. Uh, weapon mount, ADS and melee. S default, axle weapon mount, enable. Whatever that is, I don't even know what that is. Aim down sights behavior, hold. Equipment behavior, hold. Use slash reload behavior. Now, this is going to be really important if you're a Warzone player. Uh, I would probably play top to reload on multiplayer. Um, but if you're playing Warzone and you want to get better at Warzone, definitely use contextual top. This is going to make getting in vehicles 
um, picking up items, opening loot chests, uh, looting bodies much, much faster because you can just tap the square button or X if you're on Xbox. You can just spam those buttons uh, in, instead of uh, having to stop and hold and hold and hold. Just makes looting and everything like that uh, so much easier. Deplete ammo weapon switch enabled. It's been enabled since as far as I can remember. Slay behavior. I use hold night. A lot of people play top because it's so much easier to slay cancel. And the next COD, Black Ops Cold War, actually has top to slayed built in. So I if I was if I was you guys, I would probably switch to top to slayed. But for me, I'm just gonna play hold. Uh, it's been hold to slayed in every COD. That's what I'm used to. And eventually I'll swap the top whenever Black Ops Cold War comes out. Auto move forward disabled. A lot of people run automatic tactical sprint. Uh, I feel like I have way less control over my character. So just de just disabled. That's just what I like to use. Uh, auto deploy parachute. I disable this because I like to pull my parachute when I'm a little bit closer to the ground. So I can uh, get down and get that weapon first. So that's pretty much everything. Um, safe area, I try to get this as close to the center of the screen as possible. It's less eye movement when I'm looking at my ammo. Film grain, off, uh, motion blur and wep weapon motion blur. Get these off. These are not going to benefit you in any way, shape or form. They're just going to help. They're just going to help uh, get you killed, basically. That's just something that's just going to slap you in the face. So definitely get those disabled. As well as film grain. Look at, the, look at the left side and look at the right side. You definitely want the clearer picture. So get that off. ASAP and that's pretty much it for that uh, audio I use high boost 40% uh, master volume music off everything else is just default and yeah that's everything so if you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button uh, we're going to be doing some more warzone or even some multiplayer stuff in the future and with that said it's been me Mo peace